Okay, hey everybody, this is Grayson. This is the second time I try to start this one. Um, but I'm taking my dog out, if you hear noise. One of my dogs, for a little drive. He deserves it. <laughs> he's been, actually he's been nothing but, uh, past week or so. And yeah, he's, I don't know what he's going through. But anyway, um, I want to mention some things that I have been thinking about lately. You know, like when some kind of the proper person, the proper authority, says don't do something. Okay, tells that person, you know, don't, don't do this, don't do that, whatever it is. I mean, it could be anything from your, from doctor to even law enforcement, or they know the law. Well, but they still do it anyway. They will do it anyway because it, it doesn't meet their agenda if they don't do it. You know, kind of, you can think. Like, um, if the doctor says, their doctor says, don't take those, that certain type of vitamin and, or that certain type of diet pill, whatever it is. And the doctor says, don't do it because it could do this and that and that. Well, all they hear is the could, it might, and, the, and it's not meeting their agenda to lose the weight, so they do it anyway. Okay. Or uh, law enforcement tells them, or they know, you know, whatever the law is, whatever it is. And they still do it anyway because they have an agenda. Not, not, you know, not really, it could be, you know, something that is, uh, will put, throw them in jail, but it could. Okay, but they'll do it anyway. You know, because it doesn't meet their agenda to not do it. They have an agenda. And they want to they do it, no matter what costs, pretty much, you know, on the low end, but yeah. Okay, also pardon the air conditioner, it is Texas, it's 94 degrees, we've been breaking records, record highs in May, early May, right now it's May 17th, but uh, we've been rec breaking records, and I think we actually broke some records early this month for lows, <laughs> so, and we're going to go back to the low, we're going to be back in the 50s someday, in the next few days, in the, in the night, it's pretty unusual. But anyway, um, another thing I've been thinking about. You know, I mentioned this about, you know, you have group A, group B. I did a video on that. And they're, both of them are bad. It's kind of like, instead of, I should have said, instead of good versus bad, it, I said good versus evil. But I should have said bad. You know, that it was bad versus bad. <laughs> Just different ways of being bad. Uh inappropriate or uh, mean girlish or you know adults mean girl types and uh, versus the ones who send out misinformation you know neither side's good but now some of the things I had mentioned I think I did some of them could be something good could have a good outcome but overall they're s still pretty bad you know the bad sticks out more than the good both sides, A and B. Okay. Now, is it going to do this in another way? I guess. I could have mentioned that in the video. I don't remember when I made that video, but anyway. You know, team A, team B. Okay. They're, you know, they're playing against one another. Team A, team B. Whatever kind of thing. It doesn't have to be on the field or, you know, court or anything like that. It could be at work. Whatever it is. Okay. You know, something at work that they have a team for this and a team for that. And they're in competition with one another to meet some quotas or beat some quotas or whatever. So, any, any way you see a team. But both of them are cutting corners. Okay, both, or both of them are doing something that um, they just shouldn't be doing. And, uh, you know, if it's actually some kind of game, you know, what are they going to do? The, the people who run it, not hear this, that they've been cheating this how, they've been doing something like this, whatever it is, <laughs> I don't know how that would work, but, um, you know, they're going to forfeit the game totally, or they're going to say, well, we don't, we really don't want to lose out on all that we have to benefit, you know, the organizers or the boss, or whatever kind of situation it is, they don't want to lose out money, profit, whatever it is. So they allow it to happen, knowing 
that the both sides are bad. Okay, both sides competing with one another, they're bad. They're doing something wrong. But they're going to have to choose a winner. You know, some things they will need a winner. How are they going to choose a winner? They're going to choose a winner out of which one is the least, <laughs> or the which one will which team will make them the more money. You know, um, how are they going to choose? And and who's all losing there? What is this set up? Really, what is it set up when, okay, you can do that, even though you shouldn't do that, but go ahead and do that because we want to make a profit, too, and we don't want to lose profit. And they're going to do it anyway. And right now, they're, they're getting us a profit, gaining, you know, we're gaining a profit, but even though we know they're doing, we're both doing wrong. So we want that to continue. We still want to make our profit. Just think of what that's setting up for other people who hear about it, see it, know it, um, and they say, oh, well, this is how I'm going to win, as if I just don't play the game right, you know. Really, that is on my mind. You tired? Did you hear him sigh? <laughs> He's stretched out on the whole back, back seat, almost a total. He's a, an American Pit Bull Terrier. He, he's the calm one. The other one goes all over the place and barks at everything that moves, even leaves. Yeah. Okay, what other kind of things? I'm, I actually found some notes in my purse. I have so many notes from over years that I've written, you know, uh, little highlights I've written on notes going back years. <laughs> it's so funny. Anyway, I still have, I haven't made videos on I got really burnt out again, I'm telling you. You know, I got really burnt out. Yeah. Anyway, speaking of dogs, I wrote this one on the 12th, five days ago. And that's not bad. But, um, I was thinking about my, you know, my dog that passed away, when was it, last year? Uh, May, um, what did I call him? Marmaduke. Yeah. I even use uh, pseudonyms for my animals. <laughs> oh, yeah. I called him Marmaduke, and uh, he, he had stomach cancer died but uh I was thinking about when I got um the the one I nicknamed uh the rescue puppy I nicknamed Mayhem he was only we found out about a month and a half old when we got him and he was he was alpha male from the start he went up to that dog Marmaduke which was a black lab and a big one <laughs> okay and he'd go up to him and just day one I mean like right after we got him and he started trying to show his alpha male, a month and a half year old puppy. Okay, he's gonna show he's alpha male well, Marmaduke. Nope, <laughs> he's not, he wasn't going for that. He just ignored him. Maybe we could learn some lessons from these animals, let me tell you. He just basically ignored him, but if he got really bad and hurt, you know, went to hurt, mayhem went to hurt the older dog, Marmaduke. Oh no, he, he, he'd snap at him, but he wouldn't hurt him. Like the older dog would snap and not hurt him. And he would well, not really growl so much, but he'd snap. And um, anyway, but one of the things I noticed, you know, um, one of the things I noticed was this this puppy was only a month and a half when we got him a rescue. And uh, he's a um, black lab um, uh, Aussie, Australian Shepherd mix. Okay, they're both my little tuxedo men, these dogs. But um, he, um, he he really didn't know much, okay? He didn't. I mean, a month and a half year old, how much was he going to know about life? Well, the only other dog he was around because, you know, especially like he's one of those yeah, from early 2020 and all that. We got him in November 2019, I believe so. Anyway, we, we had to wait to get all of his shots and all that stuff before, and then we couldn't because 2020. Anyway, so he didn't really didn't know anything outside of stuff. You know, outside of, I mean, like outdoors, literally. He didn't know, he does still, you know, he doesn't know much more beyond what he learned, except for the Marmaduke, you know, the older dog. 
Marmaduke seemed like, and I'm telling you, I'm serious, it seemed like he grudgingly <laughs> taught um, Mayhem, the puppy, that he, he did. Uh, he grudgingly taught him, the pu you know, even though he didn't like him, <laughs> but he taught him some things like, uh, you know, what dogs would, a parent would pass down to another one. The school bus came and I had to wait till all the kids got in their respective homes. So I don't put, uh, put other people's kids, grandkids, or anything on my videos. Anyway, so uh, I try not to. You know, stuff happens. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even see it because it's behind my camera. That happened to me one time before. But anyway, so Marmaduke, the older dog, would teach Mayhem, even though he, he, he didn't like him. And it was obvious he didn't like him. <laughs> yeah, but it's, And they were not blood-related, so... You know anything but he would teach him still so things like the first time I saw him eat grass and I watched mayhem watch Marmaduke you know like what do you do and and Marmaduke would take him around and show him like like he was teaching him what you look for and stuff like that it was you know and plus what to eat what not to eat <laughs> you know this kind of thing it was so cute now think about it. that was this survival of the species okay and we humans can learn a few things from these animals. Not to teach the bad, don't go eat the bad grass. You know, to eat only the good grass and which kind. But these days, it's like, there's so much more we could, I could say to just that. You know, instead of survival of the species, it's like, it's all about me. You know, that mentality is so strong. At least what I see. I really, another thing's on my mind. So I really would love to be in a world where I don't see so much of it. You know, maybe I need to get offline, huh? Okay. He's he's back here. He's decided it's time for him to take a shower, to give himself a bath. <laughs> so if you hear that noise, that's him. But uh, anyway, some other things. I was thinking about, you know, like some people, they might not. This hasn't, I haven't said anything about this in a long time. And I don't even remember if I ever did go into too much detail over these seven years or if I even did it. But anyway, it's about like some people, you know, they get into a relationship. I don't like blaming the victim at all in any way, shape, form, or fashion. But, uh, but I am going to say this part. And it's something that some people talk about. I have not heard anybody say anything in a long time if they did even <laughs> just the same as myself but about when well I know people talk we have talked about and I don't watch these kinds of videos anymore and I haven't for years and I know people have talked about that that weren't making videos before I ever even knew about making videos you know the whole thing of people wanting to find somebody to rescue them from from their the bad situation they're already in, like if they still live with their family and they want to find someone to marry to get out of a bad, uh, you know, family of origin situation, you know, they don't like you know, their parents or parents are abusive, and so they go find somebody and they call them rescuers, okay? And it could be that they're just, um, or they see them as the person who rescued them, but they see them as a hero, their hero, you know. And that they continue, they, they might not realize it, that they may continue, they might continue year after year after, even though that person is doing bad things too. And they may think in ter terms of, you know, at least they're not as bad as my parents were, or my parent, you see. And they still see them as that hero until they're not and my experience in life and what I've seen is eventually not and I'm not talking about just myself but eventually they're no longer your hero <laughs> they are no longer the hero at all so, yeah. okay and here's another one I wrote down um, gullible yeah I remember some some people saying this years ago and that they say it in more than one thing and I'm not gonna mention the other thing I don't think that's appropriate <laughs> you know, to mention, but in one of them, they were like those little mantras, you know, slogans, sayings, expressions, idioms, whatever they're going to put out there that 
Maybe some people want to put on a t-shirt or something. Or they just think that this one's not anything you put on a t-shirt, I wouldn't think. But they want to, they pick it up and they think that it makes them sound so smart. Kind of like when people say, um, you can't fix stupid. How many people went around saying that? Yeah. Not, a, not a good thing to say to an educator, but anyway. You know, you're supposed to stop there. There's a stop sign. <laughs> wow. But uh, anyway, I'm going to become a hall monitor. <laughs> Road monitor. But anyway, um, but th this was one of them. I don't remember how many years ago. It could have been decades. But people, some people, and it spread like weeds. You know how this kind of stuff does with those that have the mantra mentality. You know, they just, they think it makes them sound so smart. Well, this one was that uh, only humans, okay, it's humans, the, you know, I don't know if they still call them the uh, higher animals and every other animal is lower animals now. That's how it was when I was growing up. But the humans, only humans drink the milk from another, uh, you know, another kind of type of animal and I'm like are you an idiot <laughs> people spread that around like I'm like come on seriously that no other one could digest it or no other no, really how many of you would even think that why would you not think that really any reason why you would not Okay, I had to delete a short clip because, yeah, what I said didn't make much sense, but, I mean, it wasn't a good thing to say you know, by accident, you know, one of those. But anyway, I mean, what, have you ever seen, known, done it yourself, um, cats, kittens, dogs, puppies, and on, and so forth and so on, eat or drink? lap up <laughs> cow's milk for one just one example okay anyway let's move on so I, I really don't like blaming the victim but it gets to me when people don't think for themselves it really does get to me when somebody does just accept what other people say they accept what other people say what they hear what it sounds good and they think that it makes them smart to say it when they come on connect your brain really think through think it through okay and then I wrote another one that day and it just said deserved and superficial slash looks like the histrionic bad boy it's bad when I can't read my own writing the histrionic bad and then I have another one three days later you hear all the rattle rattle some people like that sound I do sometimes when I'm listening to videos and I hear rattle 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 <laughs> Oh, I kind of do. Anyway, uh, this these things I've uh, this one I've definitely mentioned before in a video um, that how superficial um, some people judge people by um, their worth, you know, by s superficial or something along this line, you know, reasons. Again, too many people who don't think for themselves they just know that's what people do so I'm gonna do it too you know I'm gonna be a part of the herd and I want things that way that kind of thing and uh, such as um, this was three days later than the other money okay does a person have money does a person have a lot of money you know therefore if they've got a lot of money they're smart uh, really <laughs> I know a lot of people who have a lot of money and they're not smart. They're manipulative, perhaps, yeah. Okay, also they judge them by their appearance. We all know that, right? We've seen, we've known so many people who will judge people by their appearance. The better looking they are, they are uh, the better they dress, the better, we're more bling, whatever. Too many people, not, this is not one size fits all. Read the disclaimers in the description box below this video on YouTube. Okay, it's not. Okay, but they'll judge them. You know, the, the better looking, they feel like these are the ones who really 
know everything and they're really good and they're we should follow their lead we you know these are these things okay, and their popularity that was one of them I wrote they judge them by their popularity how do you think they got popular some of them again one size doesn't fit all and also if they're good at public speaking well we're, it's obvious it's obvious I am not <laughs> I'm not anything so far um, but they okay come on you not heard you you really think just because a person's great at public speaking that therefore they are the smartest they are the ones you should listen to the ones you should follow whatever they say they know everything yeah let's let's let me sell you some snake oil you know come on no i don't, wouldn't sell you snake oil, but you get what i'm saying you know it's the snake oil salesman kind of uh yeah okay let's see what else Oh, and they'll judge them. This one gets me. <laughs> judge them. If that person, you know, the one that, they may have a mixture of these, or one or all. You know, money, appearance, popularity, good at public speaking. If they have a hatred and express it for true voices of authority, they're right on their side. Oh, yep, these are the smart people. These are the ones who know. These are the ones who we should listen to. These are the ones, you know, that we should follow. All the other ones know. Uh, yeah. Okay. And one more I wrote down. I don't know if I've mentioned those two. Uh, those past two before in videos. But one more. I don't think I've mentioned this one. Um, they believe that the people who they should really listen to and they should follow their lead. They're, you know, all these things they should practically glorify them and say this these are our role models these are you know, really seriously role models and that's how we should all act boys get busy right here all of a sudden oh. <laughs> even made I call I say I have to say it in a funny way my little buddy <laughs> that's, that's how I, that's what I call him but he even jumped up he's so chill I think he's a hippie, I'm telling you. He's a hippie dog instead of a happy dog. <laughs> Have you heard that song, Happy Dog? So cute. Anyway, drama film. Okay, to get down to that. Dra or did I already say it? They want, if, the, if that person who's doing it, some of them, like I said, they could have a mix of these or just one, whatever it is. But if that person, like, is online and they're really good at causing drama, they're really good at, um, you know, like they'll, they'll say something about, you know, so-and-so, and, -so, and they'll actually name the so-and-so, and, or they'll take it and, if something so-and-so said, and just uh, go piece by piece by piece and piece and piece and piece, and then create this big old drama out of it, when any person with a brain would listen to this, they didn't say that. But they'll take it and they'll wrap it around and make drama out of it and use it in so many various ways what the person never really even said or suggested. But they seem, some these this type I'm talking about, they see this as that's a sign that these are people we should listen to. They don't go and do their own homework and find out, did that person really say what was the context, what was... You know what uh, what was going on behind the scenes not behind the scenes but what was going on how much can we find out before we pass judgment on this okay yeah started to get, started to get really bu busy uh-oh uh -oh. <laughs> i think maybe i should wrap this up you think that's enough for today i'll talk to you on another video bye